nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We have Goldenrod with Realistic Metalized Body, which is cool. I've already got this figure loose. Um, this actually came in a lot, so I'm glad I have another figure to open and uh, play with and show you guys. So this is what we're looking at here is C-3PO. This is obviously a, a la slightly later release given it's on the green card. Um, was released on the orange and red first. We have the data card on the back. So there's a nice little write-up, all in one language. So you can uh, freeze frame that and uh, have a little read if you like. Did used to cut these out when I was a kid. Other figures in the wave or the line, which is cool. Lando, Bib Fortuna, uh, Emperor Palpatine, Luke Skywalker, Stormtrooper disguise, and Bosk. As well as a nice little list there, tick off box. T16 and the snow speeder. So this looks like it may have been a Asian release at some point, given there's another sticker on the back. But that's all right. We're gonna crack this one open. Oh yeah. Now obviously, oh, he was he breathed for the first time. <laughs> All right, let's bring him in a little bit. We can take a good look at Goldenrod. Yeah, I definitely, I had this figure as a kid. Um, it was just me or whether that's actually looking green. No, I think it's just me. Yes, yeah, he's picking up a little green. There's no green in here, so interesting. Could just be the lighting, could be the direction of the phone, but I've got our own little tripod at the moment, so. Yeah, I had this figure as a kid, loved it. Always stood with R2. Um, yeah, it's still funny the way it's sort of He-Man-ish. But yeah, it was kind of probably one of the lesser of the, of the figures that sort of had that sort of bulked up-ness, I guess. Yeah, swivel of the waist too. I do wish they would vac metalize again, which is the the type of sort of paint method they used on this figure back in the 90s. Gives it that real sort of distinct reflective shine. Which yeah, it's just it's completely absent these days. They did it with the uh, Grogu's Pram. That came with the Razor Crest, but that's about it. And yeah, it hasn't been done for a long time. So it's kind of cool to see. He's got a little head. <laughs> yeah, his head's definitely sort of scaled down in comparison to the body. But it's good, you know, it's, a, it's still a droid that you know you can put in the background of your display. It still holds up as just a sort of shiny background robot. Droid, sorry. I didn't mean to say robot. I meant droid. I apologize. Don't at me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I still really like the look of this figure. I think it's cool. It does just have the swivel on the head, swivel on the arms, swivel on the waist and swivel legs. So we can have him. Running away. Okay, no more of that. No more C3 ballet. <laughs> so there we have Goldenrod. I'm pretty sure I have reviewed R2D2 at some point and taken a quick look at that figure. Again, if we look at the package, C-3PO, cha-cha-cha. Uh, figures on the back, all that good stuff. So thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. 
Uh, not sure when I will get around to another. So stay, just stay tuned, um, basically. Um, I have, I'm always sort of constantly looking out for Power of the Force stuff that I don't have. It's sort of, um, you know, a reasonable price range. So we will see. Definitely trying to tick off the list. It's just hard when everything's packed away at the moment. But yeah, thank you again for sticking around. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you very, very soon for more Star Wars videos and other stuff. So until then, may the force be with you always.